It's March 7th, 2014. Welcome to the Redhead Geek Show. This week we've got updates on Cortana, Microsoft's Siri, an alarm clock that wakes you up to the smell of bacon, a bionic arm that does something cool, and a new streaming dongle, the Roku, which is right up against the Google Chromecast. Speaking of, this week we are giving away a Chromecast. There will be details on how to win at the end of the show. <laughs> Roku released its new streaming stick this week, a big competitor for both Google's Chromecast and Apple TV. It's actually very similar in appearance and the way it works to Google's version, but how does it stack up to the Chromecast? Well, they both connect to the back of your TV and stream lots of stuff. Netflix, YouTube, HBO Go, and Pandora. When it comes to apps, the truth is Roku wins. It's got a massive 1200 channel library. Yeah, some may be filler, but there's plenty you'll like. PBS, Netflix, Amazon Instant, Showtime, Time Warner Cable, lots of music. However, it's fair to expect the Chromecast will increase their apps soon, now that Google has released an SDK. Also, something about the $35 amount is really easy to go for. Chromecast also has screen mirroring functionality and the remote is your mobile device. Roku comes with an actual remote control, which you probably already have two to three on your coffee table, which means there's no screen mirroring functionality here. No. Who's the leader in searching? Roku is. Ironic, huh? It scours through Netflix, Amazon Instant, HBO Go, Hulu Plus, and more to find where a TV show or movie is available and how much it costs. It's also got a networking edge by supporting dual band routers. It's up to you, they both have their perks. So far, Roku's got a little more edge if you wanna spend the extra 15 bucks. If Chromecast is your choice or you just enjoy free stuff, remember this week we are giving one away, so stay tuned. Did you hear, well, read that Microsoft's own mobile voice recognition tool for the Windows phone is going to be named Cortana? based off an AI character from Xbox Halo game series, you would know Cortana. She's hot. <laughs> this is obviously a big rival to Apple's Siri and Google Now, but finally we've got a brief, unofficial debut found in a leaked video. Cortana is running on a Windows phone. There is a setup process. She asks questions on the screen, but there's no actual voice in the video, so we don't know what she sounds like yet. She does appear to work a lot like Siri and Google Now, asking, what can I help you with? She's expected to debut on Windows Phone 8.1 around April and could be integrated into the Xbox. Yeah, I know, I also wish she would appear on the screen when talking to you too. Now it's time for... <laughs> Wake up and smell the bacon with your alarm clock. This app is created by none other than the Oscar Mayer company. Wake Up and Smell the Bacon is the name of the add-on attachment for your iPhone with an accompanying iOS app to hear the sizzle. Interesting, isn't it? Our country is fascinated with bacon. Ob obsessed. Next is the bare bones umbrella system. It's kind of weird to me. It appears to be an ordinary umbrella frame, yet look closer. It's actually constructed out of 10 mini speakers that immerse the user in a veil of sound. It's the beginning of incorporating personal sound systems into everyday objects. Simply with optical relays, an Arduino Uno microcontroller, and a micro SD wave player. So simple. Okay, only thing I find a little odd why not secure it? Finish it off with the waterproof covering to sell it as a complete umbrella. Uh, no, you have to fit it yourself, I guess. I just think that's weird. You know what's not weird and really awesome? This. Thanks to prosthetics, Jason Barnes didn't have to give up on his drumming dream. He refused to give up on his dream after a freak accident and losing the lower half of his right arm two years ago. So he built a simple drumming device out of a brace and some springs that attached to his arm. Now drumming and enrolled at the Atlanta Institute of Music and Media in Georgia, Barnes was introduced to a group in the school's technology department. 
because his own device doesn't allow him to play as well as he used to, they decided to build Barnes a robotic arm that would allow him to play just as good or even better than a human drummer. It uses a technique called electromyography, which picks up on electrical signals in the upper arm muscles. It takes cues from the human bod to control a small motor that changes how tightly the arm grips the drumstick and how quickly it moves. Isn't that a cool story? I hope you enjoyed this week's topics. Please click that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to be caught up on Tech of the Week with this redhead every Friday. I love providing news for you all. It's my pleasure. Even if I happen to be a little sarcastic and weird at times. Aw, you stuck with me. So here is how to win the Chromecast. Leave a comment, question, or recommendation about the show in the YouTube comments below. You will then be entered into the drawing for the Chromecast. Make sure to share with your friends so they have a chance to win too. All eligible comments must be made by March 12, 2014. The best comments and questions might be read and answered on the next episode. I'm excited for you guys. It's time to pay it forward. Later. <laughs>